Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka the Toy Bookie, and in today's video I am coming to you with another toy photography tip video. Now I just uploaded a few really big uh, detailed videos, so today I wanted to keep it simple and maybe show you guys something that you haven't seen before and a lot of people I'm getting on this channel are people just coming into the craft, they're just coming into the hobby, so um, you know, diorama making and toy photography go hand in hand. So uh, this is a, a, a trick that you could learn. And uh, once you get the hang of it, you can get some really cool shots. And I'll show you towards the end. Um, today, I, I'm showing you with my Rocketeer figure from Diamond Select. Very cool. I actually have a review of this figure up on the channel. Um, I would say it's my favorite Diamond Select figure in a long time. Um, if ever, actually. I don't know. It's just really well made. And it scales pretty good with other toy lines like Legends and stuff. Usually their, their figures are on the bigger side. But you know what? This video is not about this toy, but it's about this uh, flying poses with no stands, right? So you don't need stands for this. You And it's no CGI, no editing uh, required. You're going to get the shot you need right from the from this so let's get right to it now what you're gonna need is a piece of glass or clear plastic if you're younger and you don't want to be playing with glass I don't advise anybody um, I just took this as a glass from a picture frame so I just took the glass out of the picture frame and I, I stood up some predator aliens that I was gonna review for the channel eventually and um uh, and, and so I'm, I make this little thing where I realized my, my camera tripod was too small, so I actually couldn't get underneath this figure, and I have to, like, kind of lay my camera on the floor. You'll see eventually, but um, try to put it on a surface that you can be under with your camera comfortably. So you're going to want to put this on a higher, you know, a higher um, level than where your camera tripod will be. Oh, hey, enjoying that free content? Hit the like button, leave a comment down below, even if you have nothing to say. The YouTube algorithm would love it, and you'd be supporting my channel so I could bring you more free content. Thanks for watching. Get back to the video. So here we are, finally. I'm literally leaning my tripod like on the side and aiming the camera up. So uh, that just shows you how, how you can still get a shot even when it's not coming together conventionally. Um, I wanted to have him in a flying pose because he is the Rocketeer and he, the jetpack, the whole thing is like that he could fly. The jetpack is amazing and awesome. So I have a little bit of a poster board in the back. It's just tacky poster board uh, that you would get from the Dollar Tree. Most of my crafts could be found, the pro stuff I use at the Dollar Tree. Now right here, you can't really see it, but I am spraying the atmosphere aerosol. I, I actually got a box sent to me to promote on the channel. So it, it you really can't tell sometimes, but it it, it just makes your, your photos look more realistic. It adds like this, uh, a little bit of smoke, as you can see near his legs, like the smokiness I put behind him. And it also um, looks like clouds when you take the, like the photos of the pictures. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I have a whole video on it if you're interested. I think it just adds a little bit of a new layer to your uh, toy photography. I do like it. Um, you, I just spray it all the time. It's like little smoke canister things, but it's not like actual smoke. It's weird, but they're cool. Just go check the uh, channel out. Now I'm trying to get the lighting set up. I'm, I'm trying to, right here, I'm like, the sun is on his side back, I'm thinking. So I, I, I set up the light from that side I have a light on the left side also and then I also have the light from the you know my normal room light on the top so I'm trying to hit all the different angles with the lights um, it really helps and it also it lights up the background a little bit so it doesn't look like it's just um, you know cardboard or cardstock in the back over there so here, I wanted to look like, I felt like I was taking some pictures and it looked too plain with just him with the blue background flying. So I got a little bit, I got a little Hot Wheels plane that I found at the uh, flea market. I usually buy big toy lots. And so I just found this little toy um, plane 
and I put it in the background so it looks like he's closer to the camera than the plane, but he's flying along with the plane. And as you can see here, it wasn't standing how I wanted because this plane had wheels on the bottom. So I just took a little piece of plastic from a, an action figure box because I'm doing this in my toy review room. And I just, I like, I make this little tiny rig and I stick it under the tail of the plane as you see here. And um, it just makes the plane sit nicely. And uh, yeah, I was really happy how this came out. I really like this figure. It's just... It's got really a uh, cool play factor. So here we are. This is the final product of the shot. I'm really happy how it came out. As you can see, the uh, aerosol can really gives that like nice, fun, smoky effect. Also, the way you put lighting on the backdrop also makes it, like, it looks like there's clouds and all this stuff. Very fun uh, little trick and tip that uh, people could start taking their toy photography to another level. Uh, it's fun to just try it out. Um, that's all. I really just wanted to make a little video here today on something smaller. I've been working on a ton of big projects. There's a lot of new diorama tutorials coming soon. I've been having a lot of people come to my live streams. They're a lot of fun. Um, I usually take them down, but I left a few up. I left a recent one up, so definitely check that out. See if it's something you're interested in. I'm gonna be doing more live streams daily hopefully soon and uh so you know as long as everyone's enjoying it i have a lot of fun on them i got a bunch of regulars we have fun so i really just wanted to touch base with you guys hope everyone's doing well i'm having a great time i i'm a homebody anyway and i'm just getting tons of projects done so it's it's very fun i'm always on instagram if anyone ever has questions or whatever and or needs to help with a diorama question or something you can always reach out to me there i'm on twitter or on on at rock with the great on Twitter I if you don't get notifications for my videos go there you'll get more you'll get the notification because uh, I post every video I put on there and it's more reliable than YouTube's uh, system of notifications for some reason and on that note I'm gonna say goodbye thanks for watching everybody definitely stay tuned hit the notification bell so you do get notified when I post more videos and stay tuned for my live streams we're gonna have a lot of fun during this quarantine and yeah that's it I'm out of here everyone stay safe love you all peace stay great do you like toy photography do you like tricks and tips then follow me over at at the toy bookie on Instagram are you into art graphic design Sexy Rocco? Follow me at Rocco the Great. Bye. I'm a dying.